I put in a small fan to extract the air out from the top of the Dreamcast. This is the on off button, it's actually from the Dreamcast itself. I've used it because it's designed to take up to 3 amps um, and considering the system including the screen will be about 2.7 amps it seemed a sensible choice. There's two double throw uh, double pole switches here which will alternate between the screen functions and the volume um, or for the alternating D-pad for Qbert. That's what it looks like so far from the top. Ignore that part sticking out that will be um, encased within the top of the case. These are the shoulder buttons. Analog. As you see, nice free easy movement. Working down, there's the headphone jack, the green one, and the recharge one for uh, recharging the batteries when I put them in the system. This is what the back of the case looks like. And as you see, there's the button I've incorporated into that hole before, which pops the disc out.